Hi and happy Thrifty Thursday everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Candice and you are at Candy King Crete. I have a great haul today from Jasper Junction. I'm getting ready to go again tomorrow which is actually Thursday because uh, I only go once a month. They have half off every first and third Thursday and I'm excited to go tomorrow because I'm going with my mom and you know anytime you have a thrift store buddy it's a pretty great time. Uh, we are also going to the farmhouse restaurant, which is kind of like our thing now. <laughs> and I'm getting the arugula, fig, prosciutto, and balsamic vinegar glazed pizza. I don't know if you've ever been or you're around or if you're driving down 65, but it's a musty, must stop, yummy. Okay. I want to say this video is a part of a collaboration by Turquoise Dreaming called Hashtag Thrifty Thursday, where you share all your thrifty finds uh, for me and junk journal supplies and lots of other little vintage goodies that I love. And if you want to hop over to check out the collaboration information, I'll have it all in the description box below for Sherry's channel. And uh, let's get started. So thrifty... Thursday last month for Jasper Junction uh, is a books a bag of books for three dollars. I usually do the books last. I'm kind of thrown off my game here. Um, three dollars. So I had a few books that I absolutely fell in love with, and then I just had to throw some books in there to get a bag. You know, you have to do that, even if it's book board. So I got this book, and I'll be honest, I don't know what it is. I've never heard of it, and I didn't even look inside. Because I had my daughter with me and the world of Beatrice. She was not about that life. She's like, come on, mom, I'm done looking at the clothes. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Uh, the world of Beatrice. Well, it's Hammond Citation World Alice. Huh. That's a nice book board if nothing else. It's Alice? I'm so confused. Yep. It is definitely an atlas. So I talked about um, the covered bridge. I was festival this last weekend. I was so excited on my last thrifty Thursday. I didn't even get to go. For one, it was freezing. And for two, I was already hearing that it's a shit show for parking. <laughs> I mean, it's just more people than the location can handle so you have to get there extremely early to beat all that if you want to enjoy the show so i was like yeah well maybe next year now i know to go earlier but it is two weeks which means it'll be this weekend and it's going to be 75 degrees you guys i don't know if i'm going to be able to pass it up I might try. I have to leave at 6, 5, 6 in the morning. But I might try again this week. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Well, that was Alice. Can't have too many of those. And that is a huge hardcover book. Uh, okay. I'm not used to doing books first. <laughs> uh, okay. We only have a few more. We might as well do books. Why not? Well, these are the ones... These are the ones that I really wanted. And if you can fill up a whole grocery bag, uh, sometimes paperback, it just depends on how they feel that day. But I always gauge it as a grocery bag um, for $3. And then it was half off, guys. So it was $1.50 for all these books. Okay. Toll House Heritage Cookbook. I mean, this is, this 100% has to be a cover. I mean, I don't know anything about this kind of spiral in the cover binding or how that would work but look like I don't even want to tear this up I'm gonna want to tear it up I just don't want to tear the cover up <laughs> look you guys chocolate sauerkraut cake okay okay what just what I have heard of sauerkraut and many things that I didn't know about like there's porcupine meatballs. Didn't know they had sauerkraut in it. Lots of cool things. But cake is not one of them. <laughs> Look. Oh my god. 
god, that graphic is gorgeous. Okay, guys, we'll see if we got this. Uh, I've been working really hard on the lighting. I hope to goodness I got it. Okay. And the glare and all the goodness. Okay, so we got that book. Um, since we're doing books, I'll say it again. Uh, in the bottom description box of, or in the description box of these videos, I will link any info about the books that I can find for you guys. Even if I can find it like it's thrift books really cheap, just in case, you know, you want to even just have the name and go look on eBay or whatever. The cookbook, favorite recipes from our best cooks. Pretty Bunch Kitchen. <laughs> oh, it's a church book. 1980. And the other one I forgot, guys, to look. I got excited about how then so happy the... So excited. I got so excited about the way the cover looked. I forgot. Okay, so this book is copyright 1980. So nothing crazy exciting inside, but I just had to have it. These are great just to tear out, fold up, and put in envelopes and recipe journals. They're great to have. Um, I thought I had three. Oh, I do. Look, guys. I just hope I can get that off. I don't know. Um, Betty Crocker's Party Book. It can't be that new. It has a dollar sticker on it. But isn't it beautiful? I'm going to try my hardest. No, that's shoot. That's pretty much on there. Okay. Well, like I said, it can't be that new. It has a dollar sticker on it. But you guys, it doesn't appear to be new. I'm so confused. Oh my goodness. That candy, that rock hard candy. Christmas candy. Oh, I love this more than I thought I would. Oh, I love it. But I still don't see any information. Maybe I'll find dates and stuff when I Google it and put it in the description box. So how is everybody? I keep getting mixed. I'm listening into everyone's videos, trying to catch up, and I keep getting mixed. Oh, it's still hot here. It's freezing here. It's snowed here. It's 80 here. <laughs> oh, look, this one's already... You did the work for me. Well, thank you. Okay, we're not... We're going to go ahead and let it be, like Elsa says. Look, <laughs> this is why I bought it, just this image. Sorry for the but look, it's just a gardening book. I just really bought it for that image, but I really bought it just because I want this to be. I want to do this. I want to do this because, look, I, I think that's a good size for a spine. Yeah. One inch, one and a quarter inch. And it's just like, I love the size. Um, if you remember when I was doing and never finished... Guys, remember this thing? My peachy journals that I was working on. Still working on. Maybe we'll be ready for Mother's Day next year. Anyway, what I was getting at is I love this size. I love the skinny and taller books. So it's my jam. So I want to keep the cover. Okay, now I'm shoving stuff in my chair because I'm running out of the room. I got um, a project done a kind of short after the haul kind of idea I want to show you guys or not idea but like what I've been working on I also reached oh yes I forgot to tell you guys today Wednesday the 19th of October I got access to community yay I made 400 subscribers today and I just want to thank you guys oh my gosh I never in a million years I'm like Oh my gosh, if I have 20 subscribers and five or six of them are my mother, my children, and my best friends, I'm good. I will still do this because I love it that much. But to have 400, 400, I know, I know 400 in YouTube standards is like um, nothing, <laughs> I guess. But to me, it's everything. So I 
I just appreciate you all so very much. And I would, if I could hug y'all, you know I'm a hugger. If I could hug all y'all, I would. Thank you so much. Okay, sorry. Drink of the day. Uh, Costco sparkling water lemon. <laughs> I love their, oh, I love sparkling water anyway. I mean, there's, there's really great ones. And then there's good ones. I don't think I've really had a bad one, but I have had some great ones. Okay. This one's kind of beat up. Look, this tape. Oh, and then a notch in there and ripped and new for toddlers but it was the books there are 50 cents and i think kids books were half off that day so it was a quarter i mean it's really beat up but even if i could get you know look it has crayon on it but i think once you cut out the grapes you won't really see the crayon i don't know if i would cut out a hamster but definitely look at the little but look at this little he took an orange crayon to every single page, I think. <laughs> Just let me write one little note so it's ruined. Have you guys ever had luck getting um, crayon out of books? I mean, we I know we spend a lot of time with kids' books, but has anyone had any luck? Ooh. Wait, you guys! Okay, so it's not perfect. Because you can still see some of it. But I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good enough. Wow, oh, that's exciting. Okay. So I got my alphabet. It has a barcode on the back. A little golden, a little golden book. Um, 1981. Hmm, what's next? What's next? Uh, okay, I got these two. Not for $2. Uh, for $0.50 cents each because they're a dollar. Sorry about the glare. I'm not going to go ahead and open them, but they are. This is inkjet paper. 36. Actually, well, now I do want to know what 36 pound feels like. Because I think it feels like, I think that's what I order from um, Walmart. Or is it Etsy? I think I ordered one, one on Etsy and one, no, one on Walmart and one on Amazon. Uh, where I did, what I print my digitals on. I think it's 36 pound and it's amazing. It's buttery. I love it. I'll never print on anything else. If you're interested in wh what paper I use, I can link that down below too. Oh, look, some corrugated cardboard. <laughs> it's good for uh, putting your ink pad on and, and pushing onto your paper and giving it some lines. So huh, that's free. But let's look at this paper. Yes. This is exactly what I bought. I buy from Walmart.com and Amazon. It is so buttery and so nice weight. It does give, you know, 36 is not going to give you this. It's going to give you more bulk than 20. But it's going to give you so much crisper pictures when you when you print them out. And uh, I don't know. It's just, it's better. I'm going to go ahead and link my paper. But this is the exact same paper. So that is awesome. Uh, 35, it's probably, the what I buy is probably way cheaper than this, because it comes in a, um, oh my gosh, I order this paper all the time, a ream, <laughs> uh, 35 sheets here, and picture paper for inkjet, high gloss, eight and a half by 11, so I already have a ton of this, but for 50 cents. I'm not going to leave it because I'm still trying to figure out how to print pictures on my printer. I have an HP printer and I do the instant ink. So I'm like, why am I paying to print, you know, photographs if the ink is pretty much free for this printer? So I am really struggling to try and figure out how to print pictures on my printer. If anyone knows, because every time it comes out, it's all smeared. Okay. A um, dollar for this. So 50 cents. Flomo Unlimited, Social Expressions by Flomo, copyright 2001, and look, it's just, a, I'm guessing it's just stationary, but this is a cool little, put that on the cover of a journal. Yep, you guys, beautiful stationary. 
Yes, I love it. Yes, yes, yes. That was definitely worth 50 cents. Awesome. Anything butterfly and blue. Uh, you already know if you've been here. <laughs> okay. Uh, then I got this hometown favorites. King Geeky Value Occupate is another um, like church cookbook. But I just wanted the binder. I mean, if I could just put something else here. Uh, chicken. I'm actually going to put this in with my chicken stuff because it's not the same colors as I'm doing. And it won't do have anything to do with my chicken stuff. But I also have, it's a box with more stuff <laughs> of chickens. Like more different colors that I couldn't use on this journal. So this is, <gasps> but look, what? Look at that chicken. She looks like she's been through it. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love it. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I think I'm not going to put this away. I think I'm going to put this in my little idea pile that just grows and grows and grows because it takes me a year to do a journal. Uh, we'll save those for last. Oh, this is also, this is a Jasper Junction haul, uh, but it's also a little tiny Goodwill haul because they're all little tiny at Goodwill. Now everything is so ridiculous there. I went there on half off day with my with my daughter a while ago and I got some cool stuff. More envelopes, guys. <laughs> but look, these are the bill envelopes. So for 50 cents, I mean, I can't even imagine how many's here. These are going to be fun. I want to I wanna do um, some of them envelope journals. I've seen a lot. I think Christina did one uh, recently before her flip-flop maybe or maybe that was her flip-flop or the flip-flop before <laughs> I don't know but I want to do one of those like journals y'all know what I mean <laughs> I don't know but you know what I mean and I think I have enough to do that now <laughs> um okay let's do the smalls get the blade out of the way canvas uh, 25 cents for these little, really, really cute. Oh, I can't see them. Foam embellishments. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh, now you guys can see my nails. See my little mummy. Isn't he cute though? Oh my gosh. He needs, I need to make four fall journals now just because. Just because. Okay. Where's, I got this for 25 cents. All, it looks like uh, Michael's. Nope. I'm sorry. That might be Hobby Lobby. Some ribbon uh, for 25 cents. Beautiful baby pink. Elastic. Ooh, nice. Speaking of ruffles, I'm a little late on the game. I'm trying to catch up to all my videos. But did you guys see Turquoise Dreaming's ruffle foot for her <laughs> sewing machine? About died. I was like, Amazon. I mean, I could not get to my phone quick enough. I, I want to know. This is what I want to know. I want to know if I have one. Because, you know, I'm new to this sewing thing. And I, I haul lots of, like, sewing notions. And they always have weird stuff in them, metal things. That I don't know yet what they are. So I'm like crossing my fingers that as soon as I get off recording this video, I'm running over there to see if I have one. But if not, I'm definitely buying one. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. And it's actually something I want to put on my blog because it's really that cool. I could not believe how easy her, her ruffles were. Okay, 25 cents for some flashcards. Wait, okay, <laughs> weirdly enough, this has got a shiny th side and the blue side's a little bit more dull, but flashcards, flashcards are flashcards. Um, 25 cents for phase 10, but it's such an old one, 1982, like I'm new to phase 10, I just learned how to play it maybe a year ago, and I don't even know if we have all the cards anymore, but look, 
Aren't they so fun? They're really vintagey. You can't really tell, but there is some uh, caramelization. <laughs> I think that's what uh, what I say that all the time. My take at the lake calls it. But anyway, look, aren't they fun? Oh, I love those so much. Okay, those were 25 cents. I got two decks of cards. 25 cents. Man, maybe it would be worth going out there twice a month. Okay, fun facts. The Mall of America, you guys. How did I not know? I must have just seen America. Fun facts and said, yes, you're mine. I just, we just went to the Mall of America for a vacation this year. Oh, how fun. I didn't even realize that. Date opened August 11th. Yes, because we were there. Um, See that? Date opened August 11th, 1992. And we were there that weekend. So it was like their anniversary weekend. Seven Yankee stadiums would fit inside the Mall of America. I believe it. Because I have never been so sore after three days of walking in that mall. And it takes three days. If you want to look at everything, of course. I I brought two teenagers and my husband. So me, me and my husband did this. And the teenagers went off and did the, you know, the all the r rides. Um, why was that word so hard to get to? There's no tape there. Why can't I open this? Um, they did their thing. We did our thing, mostly. We met up for meals and okay. Uh, some Arizona cards. They don't look like anything old or anything, but they're cool. Especially if you want to do like a Southwest journal. Yep, those were twenty five cents. I need to speed it up along. I'm trying to keep my videos at thirty minutes, and we're at one, two, three. Okay. Um. Okay. You guys, I got some work baskets, a whole bunch of them. And I brought them up there, and I said, these were not in the books. Like, this was not in the book section. They were in the craft section, I told her. <coughs> Sorry. And they don't have any prices. She's like, "Would what about $2 for all of them? I'm like, um, yeah, yeah. Can I, give me, give me, can I have them? <laughs> $2, you guys. So I got number three. Uh, December 1960, uh, nine, March 1965. This one's really fat for some reason. Uh, 1961, uh, 1964, and 1961. So I'll just kind of go through them. I don't know if you're familiar. I'm sure you are. Everyone has, you know, finds these all over. I have quite a few I ordered on eBay. Back in the day before I did not find all my stuff at thrift stores I bought a lot of stuff on eBay I kept a lot of stuff I have actually a bag sitting next to my desk of old clothes that people have given me I'm like oh I want to take that can I have that clothes I want to cut it up I just want the lace off it before I started thrifting and have five million things of everything so I'm like I can't believe I still have this bag of clothes and I want to do something with them so I'm totally off the wall that's why it's still sitting there because now I have, like, you know, I have all this other fabric that I would love to use. So I don't really need the clothes. But I still want... What is this? What? <laughs> oh, you guys. This must be a pattern or something. Look. I don't know what it is. Is it cross-stitch pattern? What is that? Because I think I've seen another one. Yeah. Um. How to use the designs. Wait. Press heat. Oh, they're they're iron-ons. What? Oh, oh, that's so cool. I have to I have to look at that. Okay, so I got those. I've never even seen these guys. Have you guys ever seen these? Holiday handbooks number one, two, and three. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, year-round ideas. What? Like, I didn't even look at these. It's
it's like things just jump in my car. I see them and they are in my car. I don't even have to grab them. I don't have to know them. <laughs> just, they just know I want them to go home with me and they jump in my car. 1965. Mask for Halloween. What? Does that happen to you guys? You guys just see something and you're like, oh, I have to have it. Put it in my car. Put it in my car. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love it. Um, gosh, I, these don't have prices on, I wonder. I'm trying to think. Because I must have said, this was not in the book section, this was in the craft section. How much? I don't know. <laughs> but you know it wasn't very much. Look at the, gosh, look at that. Wait, that looks like the same as in that, that same lady that was in the word basket. Iron on transfer. Oh, this one's come up apart. And number three. 65. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Laundry starch builders. Cardboard and laundry starch. <laughs> Man, was life simpler then, huh? Now toys cost $127 to buy for your child for Christmas. We just play with paper and marbles. <laughs> right? Uh, okay. So that, yes, that is all from my Jasper Junction haul. This is from my Goodwill haul. Nope, I lied. My daughter bought a game. <laughs> Has anyone ever played this? Funglish. So their games are a dollar. So this game was 50 cents. I didn't look inside it. She just wanted it. And she has a max. <laughs> she has a max of one year to play with games that I buy her. Because she always asks for games. I don't know if I follow them, but she's always asking for friends seeing it. Battleship, all these games. But this one, you guys, this one. If she don't play with this one in a whole year, guess what? It's mine. <laughs> can you see these as charms? I mean, can you? Really? Look, can you see that as a charm? On a journal? Or in a tassel? dangerous has anyone played this i've never even heard of it Funglish. here's the cards turtle string pinocchio crown rose werewolf kind of and not can help a lot huh i guess i would need the directions because i have no idea how to play this but oh mg look one year sarah lee one year <laughs> And Mama's taking it. Okay, so that was my last from Jasper Junction. Uh, I'll just do this since it's sitting here. I got this from Goodwill. I only go on half Dow. And it was $3.99, so it was $2. But I think this is going to be good just to hold books. I think, obviously, that's what it was for. But um, that's what it's going to be for me. <laughs> and this oh, a dollar you guys are paying for this it's the Betty Crocker step by step recipes oh. <laughs> like I need another one I already have the two old old ones oh. what? wait wasn't I just talking about this pizza porcupine patties <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Tomato sauce, ground beef. Oh, this has rice in it. Oh, I thought porcupine panties had sauerkraut. I lied. So, isn't that just like a stuffed pepper meat? Pizza, porcupine patty. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I love old recipes. I could just read them for days.
Days and days. Corned beef lentil soup. Ooh, I want that one out. Because I just got some lentils from Shipshawana from the Amis bulk store. And no one here likes them. But my mom just said, ooh, you got to invite me over when you cook the lentils. She's seen the bag on my touch. So, yeah, guys, look. I mean, it looks complete. I have no idea if it is. I'd have to do some digging and counting, but. Cartola, I was like, winner, winner. Herbed game hens. I will not eat those. Snow caps, shredded pears. Ooh, that's not going to be in it. Okay. That was a dollar. And I have more to go with that. And this was the last thing I bought at Goodwill. It's not to tear up. <laughs> it's just for me. Baking with Julia. It was only a dollar. Because their books are $1.99 and it was half off. I think that's what it was. There's so many people. Just. Uh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Stunning, right? Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to put this in my kitchen. Although I'm a weirdo about the cookbooks. They have to have they have to be pretty. <laughs> and I don't ever usually keep these. I keep them. I just don't keep them in my kitchen. Oh, look. Gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Okay. Guys, that was the, my last item for the haul this week. I again, 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 again want to say thank you so much. For all my subscribers, you mean the world to me, and I can't believe I met, I'm at 400. <laughs> oh, I can't, I, I'm astonished. Okay, I appreciate you guys, hugged you. I'm going to show you real quick, two things. Do you remember me hauling, I think it might have, yeah, I think this stuff was last week. Okay, do you see, I hauled this weird, it's not weird, <laughs> it's emerald green and pink and i'm like what in the world am i gonna do with that what would i do with that so i have plenty i'm keeping some but i also am making these for my shop my ebay shop that's a whole nother issue i'm gonna be on ebay and i am calling this my scarlet o'hara collection <laughs> uh emerald green and black uh, so look out for these soon this is after my haul last time i'm like nope i gotta choose something to do with Instead of just putting it away. So that was it. And do you guys remember these books? I said, I have to do something with these. I can't just go put these on my shelf. I, I'm working on doing something. Oh, look. <laughs> I took them all. I'm going to, I might do one on, I saved one. So I might do it on camera. Um, but I've started taking them apart. So here's the book board. And then here's the insides and the back of the book. Um. Now I just need to go through and see if there's anything I want to keep and cut it all out. And I don't need all this. <laughs> so, yes, that was after my haul last week. That's what I did. And I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.